All right. Hello, everyone. My name is Robin. I'm the founder and CEO of Bullfinch, and we are climate fintech. Now, why are we at a clean tech conference? Because we believe that fintech and finance has a critical role to play in the energy transition. As you just heard from a lightning as a service company, it's a perfect transition. So our mission is all about democratizing access to clean energy globally, and uh, finance is our way in which we help. So in the first section, I'll be preaching to the choir, and uh, apologies, but we have some important things to say about the 3Ds as well. And uh, then I'll be talking about the players in the market and the challenge and what we're trying to build. So um, you've all seen these numbers, 20 to 30 trillion, depending on the source that has to be invested in order to meet climate targets. Now, 20 to 30 trillion, that's 10% of global wealth. That is a thousand X of global clean tech investments globally. So, sorry, no offense, but you're not going to get to this deployment with VC only. You need to tap into capital markets. Now, the good news is that decentralized is becoming cheaper than centralized energy. And the graph that you see doesn't even take into account the savings at the at the fuel station, and uh, so we can definitely, as we combine energy and transport, we're going to see further savings. However, so far, our sales pitches in the clean tech and, and utility space, in the decentralized clean energy space, have been very focused on cost reduction and efficiency. Now, as we um, go from niche market to mass market, we need to focus on simplicity and selling a lifestyle and we need to simplify the customer purchasing decisions. Now, and as you all know, we're going from an energy infrastructure with massive bar um, entry barriers that has generation, transmission, and distribution to basically millions and millions of small energy transitions, of individual decisions. You need to convince every real estate owner in the world of making the switch. And you can only do that by having fully digitalized processes. Now, at Bullfinch, we don't believe in building fully vertically integrated utilities. Awesome if you can do it, but we believe in specialization and building the right modules to make that happen. And what you often see in clean tech pitches is that the financing and insurance part is really missing, right? You're not gonna get these trillions financed from your customers alone in a, in a pure CapEx sale. So that is what we focus on. We finance and insure, and we do all the digital um, finance processes to make those energy transitions happen. Um, as I said, we need to simplify the customer decision. Now, the future that we want is pretty clear, right? Solar, PV, whether it's a PV module on your roof or a nicely integrated uh, building, integrated PV. Um, we want EVs, we want charging stations, etc. But we're making the, comp the purchasing decision really complex. So that's why we strongly believe that we need energy as a service, and everybody needs to offer energy as a service in order to maximize adoption. And now, what do we see in terms of clean techs and utilities offering energy as a service? Right? We see that utilities are scared of financial regulation. We see that. They have very high internal hurdle rates, which makes the, the monthly cost prohibitively expensive. We see that it takes ages to retrain sales. We see that it, um, they might, they're scared of potential implications on their rating. Um, on the clean tech side, we see them very focused on their distribution, which is great. Um, we see that they use expensive venture capital to fund projects, which is not great. <laughs> and we see that they face a lack of flexible financing decisions. Right? You're, you need to negotiate with a year for a bank, you're getting distracted from selling more, and um, you really need to focus on your core business. So what do you see in terms of financial services? Well, we don't see any fit-for-purpose um, infrastructure there. So basically the asset owners, life insurers, and pension funds of the world that really need to hold these assets because they've got long-term obligations, they cannot help you because they need 50 to 100 million in one shot. You cannot build a portfolio of thousands of assets in one shot. I mean, I haven't seen anyone do it. Um, and then asset managers, 
they're not able to help you because they can't, cannot service these millions of individual assets. Their infrastructure isn't set up to invest in small-scale tickets. They invest maybe at a megawatt up, but a lot of clean techs don't, don't do megawatt up. And banks are very scared of the counterparty risk that you represent. They're unable to give you 100% financing, and often they're only able to give you 10 or 15 year financing, which again makes the monthly cost for the end customer ex more expensive, and it kills your pitch. So basically what we do at Bullfinch is we bridge the gap between capital markets, large investors, and the clean techs between the, to these millions of projects. And what we're looking for is clean tech utilities that want to offer energy as a service, that are offering energy as a service, but find that it's a pain to deal with banks, don't like reporting on loan covenants, et cetera. And we're looking for patient capital, as well as VC partners. We're closing a pre-series A round right now. Um, but if you're interested, please contact us, as we'll be raising in the future as well. And we're also looking for debt capital partners in general. So thank you very much.